All right, out in the garage today, um, we're going to be trying to clean the inside of this gas tank on the Honda CL70, uh, 1972. Um, so this is a video on us cleaning that tank out, and it's also going to be a review on the Evapo Rust. Uh, I haven't used the Evapo Rust before. I've used vinegar and that kind of stuff to clean out tanks in the past. Um, but we're going to give this stuff a whirl. Not cheap. Uh, I think this is a gallon. Yeah, one gallon and uh, about 26 bucks. But supposedly you can reuse it. Um, I don't know how many times, but supposedly you can reuse it. And uh, it's also biodegradable. Uh, it's supposed to be non toxic. So I kind of like the idea behind that. Not really a big fan of chemicals, uh, even though we have to use them. Uh, so, anyway, we're going to give this stuff a try and uh, let's see what happens. All right, I'm going to take a look inside the gas tank and hopefully give you guys a shot on what this looks like before. Um, also, I want to apologize up front for the audio, uh, having some problems with my uh, my video camera. So, hopefully it's coming through okay. Hopefully it's not too grainy. So there's a look inside. Let's see if I can get that to focus a little better. And that's pretty much what it looks like throughout. I got in there with a little mirror earlier. So it, it's pretty heavily uh, flash rusted, but it's not rotted. So we're going to see what this stuff can do. All right, so first things first. You want to plug up your holes on the bottom, obviously, because we're going to be filling this up entirely with the Vapo Rust. So we're just going to use the screw that held in the pack cock, obviously, and we'll screw that down. Hopefully, that'll seal it good enough where it won't be dripping anything. So I'll get that tightened up. And then we got this guy here, and I'm going to try to use, um, I got a couple vacuum line plugs that I'm going to try to force in there and hopefully make a nice tight seal. You know, being rubber and flexible, I think that'll do the trick. Alright, so I got that all plugged up. I got the screw in there. I got a vacuum cap in there. I kind of had to squeeze it in there, so it's nice and tight. I'm thinking that'll work. I put some electrical tape around there for good measure. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this guy around. All right, so I have that filled up. It just barely made it over the top of the ridge in the center of the tank. Um, so I'm definitely going to have to let that sit for a couple hours uh, and then turn the tank upside down so it can get the other side. I did put a pan underneath this. There's a slight drip. Um, so I was kind of expecting that. So that'll catch this stuff. That $26, uh, I definitely want to reuse it. So we're going to let it sit like that. I'm actually going to agitate it a little bit with my brush that I showed you earlier. And uh, we'll let it sit for a couple hours like that. I'll flip it the other way, let it sit for a couple hours, and uh, see what this stuff does. Alright, so I've been away for a couple hours, I let this tank sit, uh, I'm going to flip it around once again, uh, but I'm also going to add some of these screws to the tank, 
Um, you can add bolts, you can add nuts, uh, anything like that. And the idea is to get them in there and when you swish the tank around, uh, it'll knock off some of that loose rust. Um, if you have a tank that's kind of thin and you might be coating it afterwards because uh, it's, you know, might have some rot in there, I don't recommend using screws because you might end up doing more damage than good. Um, but this tank's in good shape, so I'm going to use these screws that I had laying around and I'm hoping that this will break up some more of that rust. So I'm going to go ahead and add them, swish them around, flip it upside down, give it a few more hours, and uh, come out here tomorrow, and I'll give you guys the uh, final results. All right, so I'm just about finished up uh, with this gas tank with the evapo rust. I let it sit again overnight. Uh, came out early this morning, agitated the tank around a little bit more with the screws in the tank. Um, so now I'm getting ready to, to dump the, the fluid out, but just wanted to give you a look at the difference. Um, I'm pretty impressed with that. You can see a little bit of sludge there still. That's actually just loose stuff that once I rinse this out with the hose, all that should come loose. But um, it actually exceeded my expectations. So definitely a uh, positive review on evaporust. Uh, I will say you got to work at it. You know, don't expect to put it in there, you know, come out the next morning, dump it out, and you got a brand new gas tank. Uh, you definitely have to, if you got a bigger tank like this, I'm assuming this is probably two gallons, uh, and you only get a gallon of the evaporust, uh, you're going to have to keep rotating the tank a couple hours on one side, a couple hours on the other side. Agitate it with the screws in there, nuts, bolts, whatever you decided to put in there, um, and uh, just be patient with it. But it definitely does uh, what it says it will do. So I'm actually, like I said, I didn't expect it to even get that clean. Uh, that you're seeing back there, that's actually the liquid still in there with the rust floating on top. So anyway, uh, good product. I'm happy with it. Um, so definitely comes recommended. And that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, again, I'm just going to empty this out. Um, once I empty it out, I'm going to rinse it out really good with water. Uh, then I'm going to let it dry. I'll probably put it in front of a fan to evaporate whatever water's left in there so it doesn't flash rust. And uh, I'll either fill it with gas to keep it from rusting again, or I'll spray a little bit of WD-40 in there if I'm not ready yet uh, to actually put gas in this because we still have some stuff to do on this. But, uh, yeah, that's it in a nutshell. Uh, one thing I do want to mention, uh, definitely read the directions. I'm sure you would anyway. But this stuff will only work when it's above 65 degrees. Um, anything under 65 degrees, uh, whatever chemical reaction it does with the rust, um, won't work under 65. So definitely keep that in mind. And uh, that's it in a nutshell. Uh, comes recommended.